Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now this one's gonna be about the pine phone. So as you can see there's like lines in the middle of the screen and so that's what I'm gonna try and fix today. I have contacted Okay, so there we go, start working again. Come on. Yeah, so if I like move the thing up and down, you'll see that's like pixelated and then there's like lines there. So I've contacted the Pine Phone boys and they sent me over a screen replacement, which I'm going to attempt. Now I couldn't find any uh documentation or whatever any guides online so we're going kind of off the beat so as you can see it gets like fairly bad after a while <laughs> so let me just turn this off and we'll start digging on the inside so there's like a ton of uh, screws here around the place, so I'll start off by removing all of them Now first thing I'm gonna try is reconnecting the um, Display cable see if that helps if not I'll have to replace the whole screen All right, so I think that's all the screws on this side. Look at them all here, <laughs> so many. All right, now let's see if this comes off somehow. Okay, so I think it is just clips, but they're like really in there. Okay, well, let's try going around here. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh Christ, what is stuck here? Okay, there we go. So you just kind of have to wiggle it around to get it out. <laughs> All right. So. There is a um, Wi-Fi antenna maybe going through here speaker there um, camera not sure what oh yeah so the back camera the front camera is here uh, this is probably the speaker at the front and headphone jack and I am going to take this uh, black part off this kind of like black sticker because I want to see what uh, what's going on there basically <laughs> let me check this first see how that looks like so this the replacement part came in a nice box yeah so you do have to remove this bit because as you can see that's the bit here let's leave that there for a second so this is the replacement screen so it looks like we need to remove everything here so it actually looks like this maybe this cable as well let's see where is that Okay, this is probably underneath the motherboard so it looks like this is the main kind of display cable and that's here so now before I go too far I just want to see if popping this one out and popping it back in 
so I just like took this one out put it back in and uh, let's see if that fixes the issue if not yeah there's also well this is for the charging components here yeah so let's see if that helped so I will put the battery back in now it still looks pixelated you can see the lines here so we will probably have to replace the whole thing I'm just gonna pop this out This is some very strong adhesive. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the cable kind of ends here, so I need to be careful. Now I need to watch out for the other cable as well to make sure that doesn't get popped. Okay, there we go. So this is the display cable here anyway. Yeah, so we need to move everything basically that's here. So let's pop out this cable here. Um, how does this come out? Okay, so it just sits in here. Now we need to pop out this antenna. And this speaker here needs to get out as well. Okay, so this is like kind of stuck down. And this is a sticker looks like okay so now this needs to get out yeah so it just looks like it sits in here but it's a little bit Stuck. Okay, there we go. So we can put this inside here. like so try and like stick it down and yeah that should be alright so anyway next is kind of the whole motherboard here so to do that we would need to unplug all of these connectors oops like so so this is the camera here okay 
test the front camera. The back camera, and then these buttons on the side need to be unplugged as well. So I'm pretty sure you can just lift them up. Or they're kind of stuck as well. Yeah, they're just a little bit stuck with some glue. All right, there we go. So now we can move the buttons. So they were around here. Oops. Let's see. We can put them in. Yeah, they were like this. Yeah, that's good. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Now they're in perfectly. So next is try to get this motherboard out somehow um, I don't see any more screws so I wonder how it sits in So I wonder if you need to go at it from the front, hardly though. Oh wait. I think it just sits in with these uh, clips. So if we... Yeah, so it just clipped in the motherboard. So we just get rid of this clip as well. Ah, <sighs> come on. Okay, so if you lift this part up, you can get at the other clip. Okay, there we go. And... Yeah, so that's the whole motherboard out. Not bad. So now we need to stick in the speaker. So let's see if that pops out. Um... Well, it is grilled, so we need to kind of lift it out here. Okay, there we go. So just kind of pull it. And stick it back in. so and then let's see what else do we need to grab from here uh, we'll need to grab this it looks like this kind of rubber thingy so 
So slap it back in here. And let's see what else do we need to grab. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, everything else looks the same. Except whatever this is. So here it looks like. Hmm. So if we remove this. Come on, get out. Yeah. All right, so what they have done is they folded this part down like this and then they put this thing on top of it to hold it down so I'm gonna do the same if I can <laughs> doesn't want to stay down unfortunately I'm just going to squish it a little bit and there we go all right well we'll deal with that later all right so that should be everything there's nothing here on the sides nope nothing here on the sides yeah so that's everything uh, we'll also need to grab this cable I don't know why it doesn't come with it, because this is going to be like a fairly painful thing to do. But it should be like this pretty much. Then we can hook it up to the charging controller. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we should start off with hooking it up here. And then later on we can do the rest. So now we need to put the motherboard in. It was like this. Come on, stay in there. And make sure to get this cable out of the way. Like that. And... Yeah, that looks okay. Now we just need to get it into place, which is easier said than done with these clips. <laughs> so I got the left side in anyway, now I just need to force it into the right. Or maybe we need to do the right side first. Let's see. Yeah, I think you need to do the right side first, shove it in, and then kind of like clip it in here. Yeah, this is very difficult to do because <laughs> these clips, Christ. Or maybe if we slide it in, let's see if that works. No, not really, because there's like a bunch of stuff in the way. Let's 
pseudo. Yeah, now I can't really slide it in, unfortunately. So we are gonna have to come up with some random way. Actually, there was this bitch. Oh, this is the keys. Okay, well, we don't need those. Um, come on, just stay in there. Yeah, so I can get one side in, but then the other side is a pain. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't know how you're supposed to be able to do this. To get it in like... Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that clip in. Now we just need to do the same thing with this one. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna get this wire out of the way. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, so you kind of just like shove the mud board <laughs> in this direction. All right, so anyway, next thing is getting this wire. Is it this one or this one? Uh, shite. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the bottom one. Okay. And so then we need to kind of like snake it around into the bottom part here. Like so. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so I just need to like put it inside here. Uh, probably behind this. Come on. Yeah, so there's like a groove here and yeah, I presume it goes behind the thing, so That is probably okay. Come on. Yeah, that's probably okay. All right, so yeah, let's get this bit connected. Okay, like that. And then let's get the screen itself connected. Like that. And that's good. Okay. Oh crap. 
Hallå. <laughs> This thing got um, trapped under the thing, so I suppose it'll be better if you actually did that last. So what I'm gonna do is like try and pull it out and I'll actually just use the new one because <laughs> why not oops no don't stick to the table all right and then try and align it as before like so yeah that should be okay and then we can connect it up first i'm gonna bring up the connector and uh, i'm gonna need to grab some pliers for this Alright, so these are a little bit big for the job, but they should still do it. Or yeah, so the trick is you need to get it inside here. Okay, almost got it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then lock it down. Okay, so that's good. Now next part is to grab this and lock it into place. Come on. Okay. Yeah, like so. Lock it down. Okay. And then the last two things are the cameras. So we'll put in the front one first. Actually, I think it'll be easier if I stick the connector in first and then the camera after. Okay, that sh should be all, no. Nah. Yes, this is a very shallow one. Okay, so that should be it. Then close it down and shove the camera in. Yeah, so it's easier if you do the connector first and then put in the camera. So that's what I'm going to do for this one as well. So connector first. Then the camera. Okay. And now we can test if it's working. So is everything connected nicely? Yeah, looks like it. Everything is locked down. Everything looks good. So let's plug it in and see how it goes. Okay, yeah, that looks good. There's no ghosting or anything. So yeah, that's perfect. So it was a faulty display. So that's good. We can uh, finish 
tidying up the phone inside. So I'm just gonna unplug this. And so we need to stick this uh, black sticker on the inside because the wires need to be held down. So what I'm going to do is actually stick this guy down first since it has a uh, tape on it. So I'm just going to stick him down flat like so. And I'll stick the back one on later. So now this one can go in on top and hopefully everything aligns okay. And so you just need to clip in the rest of the stuff here. Like so. And now before we continue, I just want to check if everything works properly uh, software wise. So I'll plug it in again. I want to see if like the camera works, the speaker works and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so the screen is still good. Let's go into the camera. Okay, so that works. And if I switch the camera, that works too. So that's good. Um, let's see, the speakers as well. Are we connected to Wi-Fi? Let's see, settings. Well, the vibration still works, so that's good. Uh, let's go into, uh, where is Wi-Fi here? Bluetooth, no Bluetooth found, um, Okay, let's so unplug that. I 
Let's get this out again. Okay, so there is a problem with the Bluetooth chips, which is strange. Um, See, so these are the buttons. That's the sensor here. That's the cameras, so the cameras are okay. So maybe this connector is not. Properly connected. Let's try that again. Make sure all of these are on. I don't know, it says no Bluetooth found. Let's go into a terminal. Or it's um, IP A. Or just IP A. Yeah. So. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be showing up. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. Maybe these buttons actually. Oh yeah, these buttons might need to be active for it to work. So let's. Uh, plug it in. Connect it up. And 
connect some of the screws here as well. Oops. Okay, that should be enough. And let's plug in the battery, see if that works okay as well. So let's see. Okay, well the battery seems to be working, that's good. Okay, so yeah, the Wi-Fi is working now. Let's check Bluetooth. Okay, so yeah, now Bluetooth is working as well. So that's good. And um, let's check the speaker. So let's go into Firefox and then go into some uh, music or whatever. And I'm also going to try and stick in um, a ST or a, what you call it, <laughs> a SIM card to see if the, there is network after this. So let's go on to YouTube. Oh, thanks. Now let's just click on the first one. This guy stole my package from a porch, and he's about to open it in his house. Hello. But what he doesn't know is that this is the third generation of a new and improved custom built vape pack. All right, that works. The buttons work. Sort of, I think. Yeah, they do. You can see them here. So that's good. That was a 
complete repair, I think. Let's power off and then I'll just test the SIM card. And if that's good, then everything is good. Since this is one of those uh, bigger boys that needs to go in there, I'll grab an adapter. Okay, so I think it's the this one here. All right, let's try that. Okay, well, this is taking ages to shut down, so I'll just <laughs> shut it down myself. Oh, come on, get out. All right, so SIM card goes at the bottom. And then I will, yeah, I'll put this black thing in a second. Or fuck it, let's do it now, sure. Why not? Okay, so let's shove the SIM card in. And then let's attempt to put this cover. This can go badly. <laughs> All right, let's try it anyway. Come on, no, get in to the very top. Okay. Oh, not bad. Well, actually, it's a bit crooked, but it will do the job. <laughs> It'll prevent the wires from like slipping or whatever. Okay, well, that's grand. Let us put the battery back in. And let's see if it still works. I'm gonna take this uh, protector off. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to put in the rest of the screws, so I'll do that after I test. All right, so yeah, there we go. We have connection, we have Wi-Fi, we have Bluetooth. And let's check the cameras again. Yeah, so that's the back one. That's the front one. And yeah, so it's all good. All working nicely. Now I just need to add in the rest of the screws. So we should probably take the battery out um, before doing this.
Okay, there we go. So that's all that. And so there we go, fully repaired phone. And um, so yeah, that wasn't too bad to do. The only hardest bits were like <laughs> messing with the clips on the side of the motherboard and so on. But yeah, I would say like this is a fairly easy repair compared to some other electronics or some other phones anyway. <laughs> This one doesn't have like too much stuff going on, so it's not too bad. Yeah, so there we go. Screen looks perfect now, just how it should be. And all the connectivity works, which is great. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video and bye bye.